Welcome back. I'm Brian Keller. I'm Dan Fernandez, and this is This Week on Channel 9. Uh, right. Next up is Coded UI Test Enhanced Framework. Yeah, so Coded UI Testing is something that I'm a huge fan on. I've done a lot of, uh, of presentations on this and written some hands-on maps. And, and for the, the person who doesn't know Coded UI. Yes, so Coded UI is for, it's, it's, it's an automated UI testing framework that uh, shipped with Visual Studio 2010. So, um, you know, unit tests are great for, for testing units of functionality, but if I want to actually test the application the way the user would, I need to simulate mouse and keyboard actions and, you know, what is this actual value on the screen look like and all that good stuff. Um, now, it's, it's great for getting started, but as you start scaling up, especially if you have like really rich composite applications or applications that have multiple pages and you want to write code UI tests that, that scale across multiple uh, ver versions of those pages or versions of, co of composites, uh, units of functionality within a broader application, mm -hmm. it can become difficult to actually factor your coded UI tests in a way that makes it easy to maintain. And so there's a pattern that you can use where you create what are called multiple UI maps. Unfortunately, that's very difficult to work with today. You have to do a lot of manual stuff in order to make that happen. And so now, out on uh, CodePlex, there's a new coded higher UI. Higher level, if you will. Yeah, it's a higher level way of, of working with multiple UI map files, and this tool makes it, uh, or this framework, if you will, makes it a lot easier to, to generate those and then work with them and maintain them over time. So um, I'm excited to dig into that because I actually spend a lot of time helping customers do this manually. Um, now this should make that piece of working with coded UI tests all that much easier. Cool, very cool stuff. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All right, man. So that's your show, and uh, thank you to everyone.